What's up, fishing freaks? Just kidding. I'm not Lake Fork guy. I do like his channel, though. How you guys doing this morning? I hope you liked my Banjo Minnow fishing video because I'm gonna go do a bunch more of those this year, man. That was a good looking lure. I'm headed up to Walmart right now, grab me a couple lures, then I'm gonna jump on my boat, go do a little fishing before work, so. Why is Walmart the only place that carries husky jerks? That's what I wanna know. They're one of my favorite lures. I can't ever find them, so I gotta come to Walmart. At least it was 6 a.m. when I was at Walmart. Could you imagine being there at noon? I gotta hurry. I literally only have one hour to fish. Check out my arsenal. I got the Dock Demon and the Banjo Minnow. So I'm gonna go back here with both of them, Dock Demon and Banjo Minnow, see what I can catch. All right, boys and girls. First cast, and I am starting with the Banjo Minnow. If it doesn't produce, we go into the Dock Demon and the Husky Jerk. Got a fish on, fish on, dude. He hammered it right here at the boat. Yes, sir. <laughs> Banjo Minnow strikes again, boys. Banjo Minnow strikes again. <laughs> That is awesome. Oh, that's another nice trout. Another nice trout. Come here, baby. Look at that. The banjo minnow strikes again. That's a nice trout too, man. That's a good one. Third cast. We know one thing. Trout. Love. The banjo minnow. I'm in two different uh, bodies of water. I did the uh, I did the upper bay trip. The trout loved the banjo minnow in the upper bay. Third cast out here in Pensacola Bay. We got a nice trout. Fish on, boys, fish on. I just had one slam it. Fish on, oh, that's a good one. That is a nice one. That's a really nice fish, I think. Oh yeah, it's just a, that's just a nice trout. Another real nice trout. Come here, baby. That's an old fatty there. That's a good one there. That one about jerked the rod out of my hand. All right, let's release him. See if there's another one chilling up in there. Get on out of there, buddy. All right, that's two fish. You know, I thought that fish was gonna be a lot bigger than that. About jerked the rod out of my hand. <laughs> and it wasn't, I mean, it was an okay little keeper trout, but it wasn't a, uh, wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Let's put it that way. Oh, there he is, fish on, fish on. Oh, dude, he hammered it, he hammered it. <laughs> Got another one, boys. Got another one. Van Joe Minnow right here. That's a nice one, boys. They love it, man. They love it. They can't resist the Van Joe Minnow. This is like a trout secret here, I'm telling you. All right, now I gotta get another species. Man, we know, we know trout love the banjo minnow, but it is time to catch something else. Oop, there's a bite, there's a bite. Oh, he slammed it and I missed it.
What's funny too is I, I've literally seen every fish that I've hung, I've seen them bite, which is awesome because this lure just shines in the water and you can see these fish come up and the lure will just disappear. Man, if the, if the tide was high, I'd be smoking them in here right now. It's a dead low tide and there's usually not a lot of fish in here on a dead low tide and I'm still catching them, which tells me that I'd really be catching them if the tide was coming in and we had some water back here. The question remains, do I like the banjo minnow better than the husky jerk for trout? I never thought I'd be saying that. But these things love the banjo minnow, man. I, I got so many more hits that, uh, that I didn't catch on camera today. And I mean, these fish, going nuts over this lure. I thought the husky jerk was my favorite this time of year, but whew, man, I don't know. All right, I gotta take it back. Only had one hour to fish, but hey, it was productive, man. The banjo and minnow strikes again. I didn't even break out the dock demon because I was doing so good. I caught several other fish that I didn't catch on camera. I got several other strikes. I mean, for only fishing an hour, man, I was, I was pretty impressed. So guys, I had a good time on that trip, man. Caught some nice trout, uh, but I've got an upcoming fishing tournament and I went out looking for some fish as well for this upcoming fishing tournament. Check out how that went, because it wasn't quite as good. I'm on a secret mission today. Me and Lance are gonna fish a redfish tournament next weekend. And I gotta go find some fish. Because if I don't find any fish, then we're not going to do very good. So that is the goal today, to go out and locate some redfish. And we'll show you how to locate redfish for a tournament. So some of you may ask, why are you filming your pre-fishing spots? Won't everybody see where you're fishing? You know, guys, I'm not worried about that anymore. I mean, it's I'm not overly serious. I'm out here to have a good time and tell a story on each of my adventures. I fished seriously for years. And to be honest with you guys, I never, I did not have as much fun as I'm having now out here telling a story and bringing you guys along on an adventure. My end goal is not to be this amazing fisherman with a big ego. My end goal is to inspire people to chase their dreams, to inspire people to live the life they want to live, and to tell a story each and every day that I'm out here in hopes that you guys are entertained by it. It's not about the fish, and that's what a lot of people, a lot of people get that wrong. A lot of people think that it's about the fish. Guys, if you want to see a big fish, go Google big fish. Go Google a blue marlin. They're huge. You'll, you'll, you can look at them all day. You know, I had somebody tell me the other day, you, you need to be doing this differently. You could catch bigger and better. Guys, I fished seriously for years. There's a lot of things I could do differently. I'm out here having a good time now. I'm not worried about it. I want to tell the story and I want uh, to inspire you to live the life you want to live. And that is my goal for and, and purpose for doing this entire vlog that I've been doing for the last year and a half. You want to know the secret to tournament pre-fishing? Go on a pretty day when you can see the fish and you don't have to throw at them and spook them. I want to be able to see these fish. I want to locate them so that I can come back to them and then catch them. I don't want to sore mouth them on pre-fishing day. Even though I may catch one or two for the video, that's not the, not the goal here. I need to, I need to locate them. Sure is some pretty water. I have yet to see a redfish though. All I'm doing right now is just looking guys. I'm just going from uh, kind of in between these docks just looking for fish and hopefully I'll find a bunch and mark them so we can come back and catch them. Guess what I've seen so far? <clears throat> Absolutely nothing. I guess I know where I'm not going for the tournament. <laughs> I guess it's time to go back to the drawing board, find us a new area to go check. That's where I store my boat, right there in that big building. It's a good way to keep it out of the weather, man. If I had my boat sitting in a slip, it'd get all nasty all the time. So when I'm running a business, it's nice to keep it in that building. 
I'm gonna head to the office now and edit some videos. That's my computer. It's my little office, there's a the green screen. Right here is my editing software. I also use Premiere Pro some, but that's only if I have a tough project. So guys, fishing's been kind of a struggle lately, man. As you can see from my last few videos, I mean, I've caught some nice trout and stuff, but that is all that the weather is allowing me to do is get out and, and trout and redfish. It's uh, been way too windy to get offshore, you know, and I really want to get back out there, catch some big fish, but this is not happening right now. I do have some things coming up like that fishing tournament next weekend. So hopefully we find some fish for that and I end up fishing it because I'm going to make a video of it. That'll be pretty interesting. Also guys, don't forget about the TV show, my uh, cable TV show coming out March 1st. We've already started filming. It'll be on Blab TV. So if you're, if you're in the Pensacola or Mobile, really the Panama City area, you'll be able to watch this on cable television. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I mean, that's coming up quick. That's just around the corner. So other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a great week.